Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Ayman Arif. Today we're going to talk about the straight lines and the equation of a line. This lesson from Hassan Harris. And if you talk a standard level or higher level, if you picked AA or AI, this lesson is a core. Then it's really important to start with. First of all, we're going to talk about like the equation of a line. And here we have uh, like properties for this for this line here we have the gradient the gradient concept of a line is a measure of steepness then the gradient here of a line passing through two points which is x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 as we mentioned this is the first point and this is the second point after that we have a rule a rule of gradient and we can call it slope by the way both are similar. Then the slope equals differences in y and differences in x, and the relation will be the bosom. Then y2 minus y1, which is y2, this point, minus y1 here, and then x2 minus x1. This is the rule. Simply, we can represent that with m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You need to save this formula, by the way, and you're gonna, I think, you're gonna find it in the formula booklet. There is no need to save it, but it's like, I prefer to save, to save this one. Then after that, we're gonna talk about y-intercept concept. Y-intercept concept is, is the intersection point between the y-axis and the line. And notice that this point will, we're gonna determine it while x equals zero. And if while x equals 0, you're going to determine the y-intercept. And about x-intercept, you're going to determine x-intercept while y equals 0, by the way. This part will represent y equals 0 to find the y-intercept. Simply, the y-intercept of a line is the value of y, then the value of y, where the line cuts the y-axis. Then the value of y here could be 1, could be 2, we don't care. The, the value of x here could be negative 1, negative 2. We don't care about that. Then, let's move further about parallel and perpendicular lines. Simply, if you have two uh, linear equations, such as y1 equals 3x minus 2, and then y2 equals 3x plus 4, for example, that represents same gradient because... This part, the quotient of uh, the coefficient of x, while you isolate y, or y should be the subject here, okay, then this 3 will determine the slope or the gradient. And here we found same slopes, like 3 and 3. And that represent these two lines, the first line and the second line, the first equation and the second equation, in the parallel mode. What about if you have two lines uh, in perpendicular situation. If their gradients are negative reciprocals of one another, then in this scenario you can determine that or you can represent and say these are two perpendicular lines. Such as if you have y3 and y4 here. If y3 for example equals 2x plus 4 and y4 equals negative half x plus 3 for example then these two values or two equations the third and the fourth will represent will represent like will represent like the perpendicular situation okay let's move further what about the equation of a line the equation of a line we have more than scenario to determine the equation of the line and here we have a definition a critical definition the equation of a line is an equation which connects the x axis or the x values and y values for every point on the line. Such as if you have y equals x, like this is like one of the simplest linear equations. y equals x, each unique value for x will generate a unique value for y. If you, if you deal with another example, like y equals 2x plus 3, then the domain, which is the, the, the possible values for x, will generate the range, which is the outcomes here you're gonna substitute you're gonna put zero one whatever 
and then the the outcomes will determine the range then you have two scenarios here the first and the second in the gradient intercept form the equation of the line which a gradient with gradient m and y intercept c then here you need to save that y equals mx plus c will show that m is a gradient or the slope and c will represent the y intercept not x intercept to find x intercept you need to put y equals to zero by the way and solve for x after that the second form is the general form then a ax plus by equals d i can represent an extra form generated from the rule of the gradient which is here we have if you have m equals y minus y1 over x minus x1 becomes y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1 and we can use this form in a specific scenarios then let's deal with real examples the, the first example he said find ingredient intercept form then focus gradient intercept form directly you're gonna write y equals mx plus c then the equation of a line with the gradient yes he mentioned the gradient he mentioned the gradient that negative 3 then the gradient should be negative 3 and passes through the point 4 and negative 5 then this point will satisfy the equation because if this is the equation or the linear equation graph this point should lies on this line then it could be 4 or should be 4 and negative 5 then this line will pass through the point we can solve this equation or this question using more than one method. Let's deal with gradient intercept form method. Then y equals y equals mx instead of m, which is the gradient, you're gonna put negative three, then x plus c. Now you need to, to find the value of c, which is the y intercept. You're gonna substitute instead of x by four and instead of y by negative five and then solve for c simple as that then negative 5 equals negative 3 by 4 plus c then here negative 5 equals negative 12 plus c after that you're gonna add 12 for both sides then it becomes 7 equals c then finally you can write the equation y equals negative 3x plus 7 which is the value of c and c equals 7 here because negative 5 and 12 becomes 7 and negative 12 and 12 becomes 0 that's it this is the solution simple as that what's about the next example I'll, I'll do the first question and you can do the second one and you can send to send it to me through the, uh, the comments or like uh, whatever and if you if you need to contact with me this is my email which is ayman arif 49 at gmail.com gmail.com sorry for that then the first question he said write the, write the equation in the general form and here write the equation in the gradient intercept form the general form which is ax plus by equals d which means what which means to leave this two on the right side and then move this part into the left side simple as that then 2 over 3 x and then plus y equals 2 and after that you can do that pi 3 to cancel this denominator and it becomes 6x plus 3y equals 2 by 3 becomes 6. Is it clear to all of you? I think it's clear. I I'm sorry, not, not like that. Because 3 by 2 over 3 becomes 2. Normal mistakes. Like then 2x plus 3y equals 6 and you can do the second part what about this question 
this is a critical one, the third example. Fine, in general form, yeah, this is the general form, ax plus by equals c. The equation of the line with gradient 2 over 3 that passes through this point. Here I can use this form, y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1. And then this is x1 and this is y1. After that y minus, and, and focus on this step, y minus negative 1 equals m, which is 2 over 3 x minus x1, which is negative, negative, becomes positive 2. Then, after that, y plus 1 in the scenario. He, and he and focus that, he said in general form, not in y-intercept form. Then y plus 1 equals 2 over 3x plus 4 over 3. Now you're going to adjust the equation. 1 to the right side and this part to the left side. Then negative 2 over 3x plus y equals 4 over 3 plus 1. He said, find in general form the equation of the line with gradient 2 over 3 that passes through this point. I used really different method, critical 1, okay, and we're going to deal with that. You can use y-intercept form, by the way, like um, y equals 2 over 3x plus c, and then you're going to find c using direct substitution, and after that, adjust, adjust your equation. Then, let's move further using the same idea. Now, we have negative 2 over 3x plus y equals 4 over 3 plus 1. 4 over 3 plus 1 becomes 7 over 3, because 1 equivalent to 3 over 3. Then it becomes 7 over 3. Then here, I'll take a line, and after that, Let's continue. Then it becomes here, negative 2 over 3x, negative 2 over 3x plus y equals 7 over 3. 7 over 3. Is it difficult? No, not, not, not difficult at all. Then times 3, times 3 becomes negative 2x plus, plus 3y equals 7. Simple as that. Thanks for watching this video and please share this video. Thanks for watching.